Much talk has been made concerning bends or decompression sickness, a disease in which divers breathe gas that is at a higher pressure than the surface pressure, and that's because of the pressure of the surrounding water, often when going to very low depths. Many divers, because of their occupation, can fall victim to this disease, and as a result, the dive industry is welcome in such a move. Senior Fisheries Officer Johnson St. Louis says they feel more at ease because of the presence of the chamber. Well, it's a very important period, a very exciting period for the fisheries division. Um, as you know, the dive fishers for the mainly the shellfish like our conch and lobster, um, they play a very important part of our economy for providing much delicacies to the hotels and the restaurants and of course the general public on a whole. Um, so we are very glad that we now have a chamber at the St. Augustine Hospital. On average, the occurrence of the bends, according to St. Louis, happens nearly two or three times a year, and therefore he is imploring the divers to carry out their work with a gauge so they can monitor the amount of air in their tanks. Full treatment, he says, is very costly, a price that can range between EC $40,000 to $55,000. So we're asking all fishermen to visit the NIS. In fact, the Fisheries Division and the NIS will once again, now that the chamber is here, is here, we will go to every parish and meet with the fishermen again. Because once you make your contribution and God forbid something happened to you, the St. Augustine Hospital will just accept you and start your treatment because you have to start your treatment immediately to get a full recovery. At the tour of the facility at St. Augustine's Medical Center, resident Dr. Lutz Samichi explained the process. This, this here is the control panel that is controlled by who we, the person we call the, um, the driver of the chamber. Um, he uses these knobs here to basically balance the pressure inside the chamber. You have to get, it, you have to get them down to a certain depth and you have to take your time getting down there because obviously when you're being compressed you have to clear your ears and all of that stuff and that's part and parcel of all the medical checks we have to do on the patient before we get them inside to make sure they can tolerate that, that pressure at that depth at which we're going to be treating them. Treatment duration is five days. Miguel Payne, 4GBN News.